The Cypress Hills area is steeped in history, and one of the must stops for tours to the region is Fort Walsh. Visitors to Fort Walsh recently had a chance to step back in time during the annual Northwest Mounted Police Drill and Historic Trades Day. It was a full day of activities at the fort for all ages, from tours of the on-site buildings by guides dressed in authentic clothing of the period, to demonstrations of the infantry drills dating back to when Fort Walsh was in full operation. We have volunteers from the Northwest Mounted Police Commemorative Association in Calgary as well as staff from Fort Battleford National Historic Site and our own staff here at Fort Walsh. And they'll be doing some of the Northwest Mounted Police drill that were practiced by the Northwest Mounted Police when Fort Walsh was headquarters back in the 1870s and early 1880s. Basically like Depot Division in Regina today, all of the new recruits that joined the Northwest Mounted Police would come here to Fort Walsh to receive what we would call basic training. And a lot of that was uh, military drills from the Victorian era. So that'll be uh, reenacted here today, that drill training that would have been practiced uh, over 100 years ago here at Fort Walsh. Jim McFarlane was one of the many volunteers at the fort for the historic Trades Day. McFarlane, who hails from Fort Battleford, takes on the role as a gunner with a nine-pound field rifle. The nine-pounder is, uh, the barrel itself is quite authentic. The uh, frame, I carriage, I'm pretty sure, is authentic as well. Our seven-pounder is a reproduction of the uh, muzzleloading field rifle, seven powder that was first initially purchased for the Northwest Mounted Police in 1876. Farland goes on to explain the importance of the cannon in the early days of the fort, which could be heard sounding off throughout the day's activities. It portrays where the uh, artillery might have been using it as to reinforce the front line of the infantry. So you'd have your in infantry on the front line and then the artillery as backup. So it would be either firing uh, what's called a common shell, which would uh, decide to ex explode upon impact, or a shrapnel shell, which would explode in front of and just above the enemy line, and then explode above in midair and shower shrapnel down upon the enemy. So, Depending on the situation, the type of shells that would be used, but it's for reinforcement. Now into its seventh year, the Northwest Mounted Police Drill and Historic Trades Day draws crowds from across Canada and around the world, enriching all who walk through these historic grounds. It's living history, and I think you know, that's the way museums need to go with so much um, computerized and digital stuff. Um, to me, it's much nicer seeing people walking around in authentic looking uniforms instead of seeing something digitally, you know, cartoons, doesn't do anything for me. but. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, look at this horse I've been just going by right now. Yeah, the, all the livery is correct, the uniforms, the, the time gone into it, yeah. The uh, cannon display outside with the uh, police and the chasing the people in the hills there, that was quite interesting to see, actually see a cannon work and the muskets work. I've, it's kind of similar to what I've been interested in with uh, the British Army back in the Napoleonic Wars over in France and Spain. And as the busy summer months continue at Fort Walsh, an open invitation is extended to everyone interested in Canada's history and its deep roots in the heart of this prairie landscape. I think that uh, Fort Walsh is emblematical of uh, the process of becoming Canadian and being Canadian today. I mean, the story of the, uh, the opening of the Canadian West sort of... Uh, uh, is, is, the, is central to the story of Fort Walsh and the whole image of the RCMP and the tradition of the RCMP. A lot of the traditions that they maintain to this very day were ingrained in them during their formative years here at Old Fort Walsh. And certainly the story of the RCMP musical ride. Everyone around the world recognizes a red-coated RCMP officer riding a black horse and a lot of that tradition and that image and certainly the story of the black horse has its origins here at Fort Walsh. Fort Walsh is open seven days a week throughout the summer season. More details on Fort Walsh are available by calling the site office or by going online at cypresshills.com.